Over here, you can get to see Harley Quinn as well as some other mental patients inside this room, which means Harley Quinn in this movie is not going to act as a psychologist just like we get to see in our traditional Batman and Joker movies. Also, you can notice these people holding a sheet of paper in their hands and I have a guess these papers are actually the script of any comedy show they might be rehearsing on because the word alignment is done in the middle of the page instead of going for the traditional left to right approach just like the average document layout. Look at the face of Arthur. His left jaw seems swollen, meaning this guy was beaten up by the jailers or other people inside this facility before he was being escorted by these guards over here. And I'm saying that with confidence because in the end of chapter 1 of this movie, you can take a look at the left jaw of Arthur and you can visibly find no injury spot over there, meaning the injury spot on his left jaw might be recent. Look at the umbrella. The canopy of the umbrella is in blue color in one frame but right in the next frame each one had different colors and guess what the combination of these four different colors matches 100% with the colors of the curtails on the set of comedian Murray from chapter one furthermore the colors on the face of Arthur during his entry to the comedy show also matches very well with the colors of the canopies and then the combination of these four different colors also reflects the rebellious nature of Arthur which means he is about to do something very big in the next moment. Maybe another evil is going to die in his hand. Harley Quinn over here is walking up on the exact same stairs Arthur used to walk on his way to the house. This cannot be a bloody coincidence. I guess they both had to go through similar kinds of harsh environment and childhood trauma in the past. Like you have. In chapter 1, Arthur had a feeling for Sophie and inside the elevator, Sophie did the same kind of gesture to the face of Arthur just like Harley Quinn is doing over here. Arthur is now singing and dancing with Harley Quinn on the stage but I have a doubt that this scene is only a delusion of this guy because in chapter 1 he also got into the house of Sophie and kissed her which was actually his psychological delusion. In chapter 1, Arthur was chased by two police investigators and now a bunch of guys dressed as jokers are chasing him on the street. <laughs> Whenever Arthur used to get angry, frightened, embarrassed or even disappointed, he used to have an uncontrollable laugh because of his neuromuscular disease. And as you can see right now, he is being dragged on the ground while he is laughing because of his same mental condition. I can pretty much imagine that something definitely has happened to him before that event took place. These people are standing in front of the court holding placards and they are demanding the unconditional release of Arthur from the jail. That means this was the day of the final hearing session of Arthur for all the charges of murder on him. These two lovers are together doing the signature move on the stairs, just like Arthur did on the stairs in chapter 1 of the movie. I think this footage is not a delusion including the scenes from the set of the Harley and Joker show. This guy on the right side is holding a placard in his hand which is actually a reference to a joke Arthur said before putting a bullet through the head of Murray. Knock, knock. Who's there? It's the police, ma'am. Your son's been hit by a drunk driver. He's dead. In the Harley and Joker show, you can see the comeback of Gary. Remember him? Hey, Arthur. Yeah. Arthur, can you get a, a look? This guy is literally smoking inside a mental asylum facility. Who the hell on earth gave this guy a cigarette in a place like this? Is that even allowed over here? Out. These rebels are breaking the glass of a television servicing store and you can get to see a video record of Arthur on the monitor. I guess this movie will portray a group of people who will oppose the ideologies and philosophies of Arthur. Probably the rich people in the society. The Wall Street people. Things are burning behind them and these two crazy lovers are leaving everything behind. I guess these two lovers are either breaking out of jail or any other kind of facility. This is a court and there goes the judge. But exactly what happened over there? Is there any way the civilians of the Gotham City broke into the courtroom and ambushed everyone to rescue Arthur? 
Harley is holding a pistol to the face of Arthur and in chapter 1 the same design of pistol was used by Arthur to shoot Murray and those three Wall Street guys in the subway. By the way, this place looks more like a courtroom. But why is that man sleeping on the desk? Is he actually asleep or he has been shot in the head? If the man was killed over there, the guy behind him should also be looking nervous and panicked. But his facial expression seems quite normal. So what the hell is happening? Harley Quinn makes a smiley on her face with blood. But whose blood was that? Is there any way this guy behind her is actually dead and she took the blood of that man to make a smiley on her face? And by the way, in the end of chapter 1, Joker also drafted a smiley on his face with the blood coming out from his nose. Can you remember something similar from chapter 1 of this movie? What does folia do mean in this movie? It means that you have a mental illness and you have met someone who also has the similar kind of mental disorder like you. Which means the psychic state of both Harley Quinn and Arthur will also be the same in this movie. 